Hey guys, what's up? So, yeah, I want to do something. Oh yeah, as far as if you're going back to Kajun during Mag Magical Girls Month, I want to do something real quick. Okay, <clears throat> as I'm saying, as far as to continue with Magical Girls Month, I feel like let's go review an episode, a series, then that I want to do for a little while and. One oh, second. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Anyways, um, as I'm saying, um, yeah, let's, um, talk about the show, and if you've ever read the title, it's Wings Club we're doing today. Wings Club for the, yeah, the show was created by, yeah, the show was created by, Jai Shifin, sorry I can't pronounce his name right, during the 1990s when, well, he's well. decided to make an animated series that's pro. Want to make noted that seeing every single anime action series during the 1990s being more male, for example, male protagonists, and he feels that the cartoon world is was devoid of female characters. Mm, yeah, then later we have shows like. Like Star vs. was evil, but this was during the time when males were the male protagonists were the dominating thing. So yeah, so he decided wanted to make an alternative with a female one and with high potential magic ailments because Harry Potter was popular at the time and going and he saw this and mm, that'd be a good idea. Incorporating both these ideas, so he decided to develop a pilot. But one feature, fairy. Features one for fairies and one for witches. And while well, due to the sort of ox for karma red river rivalry in the magical world and in the edge. And explore oh, yeah. should draw this inspiration from Japanese manga. And including Sa and including Sailor Moon. And the come Makes up a show. Oh boy, I think. I might go check that one only. A comic written who should have past experience working working for and yeah right. Anyways, this pilot was Magic Bloom, which features the original five and more in the entire of the East. Yeah, there was a pilot called Magic Bloom, but sadly evident Yeah, there's not much you can find about it because it wasn't Mainly because, well, it is a product during the 12 month period and everything else, and marketing strategies, and yeah, a lot of history stuff. Shava recall, and also Shava also once said, recalled that at the end was product looked like it just like another jet. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna say this, why I wanna go say the full line because. Mainly because I feel I personally don't feel like accidentally e possibly triggering all my anime fans. And yes, I meant that word at every single that if you that the fans berserk button. I'm not one to press the fans berserk button. <clears throat> Sorry for my pause. Sorry for that long pause. I uh. Oh wait, that was that was the wrong But yeah, I was just pausing because I wanted to check if there was the um, berserk button thing. Um, no, never mind. <clears throat> To business, but nothing less. It later becomes wi wings, and he feels like a plot like extreme. Chris's animation test, and the rest was history where we worked and whatnot. And the first season premiered on Ria. One sec. That's me. On to on January second, eight, twenty eighth of January two thousand fourteen. And it became so successful that it could get spawn of video games, comic books, and whatever spawn stuff they have made. So, yeah, let's just go with something. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's start talking about the series. So, yeah. <clears throat> you know what? One sec. <clears throat> our show starts with, well, a vacation. Yeah, we get to our main character, named Bloom. Yep, I probably didn't. No. 
Who turns out to be a summer vacation and no school trips and whatnot? Who lives with her parents? Like every single other teen protagonist of the not really much mentioned, but still. So, yeah, nothing too special what happened throughout this entire episode, so. Actually, no. And since this is the first episode, yeah, well, not too much to talk about. Who has her pet rabbit? One sec, I think I'm gonna look for something real quick. <clears throat> pet rabbit named Kiriko, who, who is actually having a bit of a weird sentence, but hey, this is a cartoon, I want to question logic. Now, we meet her as old rival. One sec. And also a lot of shenanigans, which angers. So, yeah, they decided why not to go to the park. Yeah, a girl doesn't. Uh, no more with her, no more. Kuro. Kuro. Kuro just runs away and saw something, saw what's going on, and suddenly he went to the forest and saw Sally. Yeah, this is Sally. And first of all, let me explain the design. And of her, I admit, I do really like her design being well. Her motif is based on flowers. Oh, wait, one sec. Mm, sorry, wrong one. I admit, that was sorry. Someone else will talk about the next uh, other episode. We'll talk, the next episode we'll talk about later. Um, which is Sala. So. Celia, sorry for not your name right, but mm -mm. her motif in the season. Well, I admit, I like her design being more orange as well as going with a sunlight motif, solar sunlight motif. And I admit, yeah, I really, I thought it was an alright design. And well, I don't need to comment too much. It's just, let's just put or put mostly orange clothing on it. And while magical girls are not much named in the season, they're really called. Fairies and yeah, I mean, the ones that dream on that nearly new. Only ever says that, anyways. Fights this monster, this yellow buff monster, and who hasn't had them sleep as a laser in his eyes, anyway. So, yeah, we get to Bloom having magical abilities, apparently. Anyway, save by so uh, and basically just save the day. Anyway, girls just have funny moments, and yes, we're gonna run close, just mostly for later. Anyway, so they're coming to wherever place and giving him basically giving to his boss leader to search for something on Earth. Anyway, so we see uh, while her parents after the day as well as well, also Rosalina also there. Yeah, I know we I'm saying her name early because well, I feel like personally just got one of this early and whatnot. So Bloom and Celine actually chats a little while and talks about Afra. Afra. Uh, and well, and then meanwhile, the boss leader just lost the scent. Yeah, losing scent apparently. And then, yep. So apparently, the trolls were just work on. Yeah, seriously. Imagine if your boss leader able to have that, but then tra you travel to another dimension and go like, oh, I think it doesn't exist. Oh, I think you just went to a different dimension. There they go. They talk about the other place, including the high school they were going to. High school in the background, we'll talk about later in this. Anyways, came back to the home world, came back to Earth, and the monsters just found out they were here and they just need to face Sim. Yep. Trading the parrots and whatnot and everything else, and well, the boss leader came out. And yeah, anyway. And yeah, also, suddenly we get to these. Then we see four random guys in our. And guys, and so who basically he wearing basically the exact uniform heroes with with apparently many sci-fi weaponry. He that I probably think George Luke that Disney will like a lawsuit with them, him for basically trying to rip off, basically make different variants of lightsabers. Yeah, they were explained a bit earlier. I admit the uniforms look pretty alright and good, though I kind of wish they were also given a more unique designs based. No, I admit they more are uniform again. I kind of wish they actually get different clothing and motifs. I think they're more design slash motif. Anyways, we get to a cool action sequence, and I admit, looking cool. And we get to see cool action fights. He's going bloom, showing magic again. 
and then while saving the day, after saving Blue and Selena's life, they, anyways, we talked. So yeah, Bloom decided why not to go to this magical to go to this wing school. Oh yep. Up she just said. We go to Africa. Oh yeah, I know I'm gonna make an easy kai joke, but easy kai's are only for animes. Please. Decided why not to travel to the other dimension with our parents and we see the school and by the way when I remember seeing the school I always remind myself that for the most part the outsides and most of the places of the show mostly some of the places in the show just go I find the answer to this idea is like okay so um alright so I'm gonna make our places look interesting. Let's make them CGI Agree And yeah, the episode ends with that. We see the CGI version of the castle, and I admit, yeah, the guy. So I think that's where the most of the budget somewhat went. And I admit, some of the animation still looks alright, but whatnot. So, um. Alright, let's just go with it. Anyways, we get to recap the last of the first episode. Now, let's get with episode two. Um. So after the episode starts with that, and um, we. That's why you left off it, excuse me. Anyways, Bloom says goodbye to our parents, and, and well, Stella decided why not to go in. And we get to some shenanigans a bit. We get to a lot of magical girl stuff and that. Excuse me. Mm -mm. We get to print. We get to one of the other characters, and we see the. Results. Yeah, she's basically. Anyways, we see her there too. Anyways, after that, looking, we look out to the window and see other teachers we're gonna see in the series. Um, watch this. Yeah, I can forget my other names. And see, you no. Know, and one of them is Besto Wizba. So I his name right. Well, I found Wizbanks' brother. I just want to make a Hearthstone reference. I thought since. Both revolve around magic. Why not? Since both are magic themes, fantasy series, and both magic, why not just make a reference to the joke? And since I'm gonna. Anyways, we got to the other students in the series. Um, alright. Um, so, so uh, pretty much there was a bit of a backstory of the reason she got. Yeah, she was kicked out of a lot prior to the show's events. But the reason she was kicked out because of an experiment. That uh, will need to be cleared in a month, and yeah, we have to pay try some of the yeah some of the outside shots or when you go and close in some like some of the outside shots just CGI it. Well, sometimes we and whenever we go to indoor and indoor scenes for the most part, they are completely just two D animation. I don't get really much of the budget of the show. Anyways, we see the principal who I find the most calm is and then this the at least more calm person is. In this area, but anyways, so Sana just shows Bloom her room, yeah, and then I need to share with other people. So yeah, we're introduced to the original five, and I know there's a, but that's our sixth ranger for the season. And you know she comes out of season two, and unfortunately I don't feel I talk about it because she only appears in season two. We'll talk about her when I when I feel like if I want to do at least one or two episodes from season two. If I feel like continuing doing reviews of Link's Wings Club, as I feel like on the couple of the first three episodes of the series. The first three episodes of the series. Anywho, let's just get on with the other three characters we're meeting. <clears throat> we get to mute Tatara and Flora. I know it's not in the order. It's not in the order they were introduced, but still. And I made we get to see based on. Yeah, we see is the I think the full team, the founding members at least. Anyways, we get to mix. Despite this being a fantasy D, a fantasy, a magical girl, magic theme area, everyone in this series is, from my you know, from what I see for the most part, and like the city just feels futuristic. Yeah, make sure it just feels like a futuristic slash magical city that I admit, I admit it looks cool and all, but. I was expecting it would be a more medieval fantasy city, but I didn't expect this to be looking like more like a futuristic like city. And you can see the reason why. She talks about yeah. Mm -mm. Bloom decided why not to make a cold. Parents and yeah, after 
this was after a cool montage. We get to our end. So we get to the monster, yo, buff guy, I forgot his name, but the last episode. Contacting with, oh yeah, the, the, main the main antagonist of the season. Isn't, isn't, <clears throat> the Trixies, which are basically Stormy, Icy, and Darkxy. Yeah, I think someone in the naming department forgot to, Mm, but I know it doesn't fit the magical motif, but I really find these un yeah, the names are a bit uninteresting sometimes. And yeah. <clears throat> and they're going to be the main antagonist on of the season. Yeah, they're going to be our main main antagonist of the series. Um <laughs> So yeah, deciding why not. Oh, one sec. I see. Deciding why not to duplicate herself, that was just to make a pure distraction and capture her. Decided. Stormy decided. Anyways, after a few moments of attacks and freezing Bloomy, the other four decided that found the Trixies and they immediately transform. And I admit the transformation sequence looks amazing. Though I admit the music, we are the wings, also sounds pretty cool. And I met the transformation sequence and Moti. Then we get, and after a quick transformation sequence with different designs and motifs, let's just get on with the suit designs for most of the cast, first of all. <clears throat> Flora, let's go with I admit, Flora's design goes with a more, goes with the forest motif. And I admit, yeah, that's something. Muta is basically, if you don't get her name, Pun is music, and I admit, not much of a music look, but I admit that. <clears throat> and Tucker just decided I wanted to make the motif based on her tech, and I admit, her costume was at least have mm, a bit more design, at least. He's giving her more, um, <clears throat> giving her more covering about most of her body for the most part, and going with this more silver like color, and yeah, I admit. No, yes, I admit I do really like how the team has different moods. Yeah, as much as I like Sentai, Kamen Rider, um, Sentai sometimes, I definitely see all the different the characters with motifs. Sometimes a bit boring to me sometimes, either because it's reused or sometimes that. It kind of feels a break away from basically other shows like Sarah Moon who have you know, excellent clothing. I admit I do really like the different clothing in the sh show. Also, yeah, most of their clothing have glitter on them. And yes, all of them include blue, which I'll talk about later. Mm -hmm. ring. Anyways, yeah, I forgot to mention. So this ring is also basically a one. Do my power, we get to a medical action sequence, and yeah, causing her to fall and everything else. Like yeah, after the fight, which I have an interesting, I do really like the fight scene actually. Um, <clears throat> anyways, we're back to the castle, and they decided to try to attempt to sneak back, but then realized knowing what's going to happen and everything else. Knew they like just like they were just new. They were checking the stu checking if any students just take out. Like I think they were like, all right, all right. In case we forget. Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay. Pretend these are the two. Uh. Okay. We get it. To make sure that our students are, make sure any other students they just sneak out randomly and then uh, forget to come back at night. And what should we do? We should take out all of them for that. Great idea. Okay. Back to the review. Anyway, I didn't get in much trouble and decided when to go back home. And now well, they decided to chat a little while and decided when to form a club. And, well, Blue just already formed the logo and pretty much the logo of the show. Oh, mm mm. Kara agrees and, yeah. And thus uh, the Wings Club was born. Born. And yeah, mm -mm. So yeah, the first two episodes were more introduction to the rest of the. The, fir the first episode felt like more introduction to our main character as well as style. 
Uh, well, the second episode feels like more giving the rest of the cast a bit of screen time. That's what was the first time transformation sequence. Now let's get on with the third episode. <clears throat> so we get back to the typical panning, zooming in, zooming out of the CGI castle. Seriously, the, I mean, I know this is a CGI school, and I forgot to briefly mention the schools in the show. <clears throat> By the way, the Wayne Scott school is the main setting, while the Hero Academy, yes, the Eagle Academy, it's just dark setting and stormy and whatnot. And there's another academy just for hero, just for hero training. Yeah, this is only for our males only club. Seriously, imagine if one of these guys, just, one of these other opposite genders, just wanted to try to do basically what the others don't want to do. Anyways, the episode start. Yeah, anyways, episode three. Um, as the stars return. Anyways, sir, the side I wanted to do is basically try to do magic and try to get Bloom to use magic. <laughs> So, yeah, after some fun motivation character development, and also because of the first celebration. So, yeah, the person says, say, we're going to have a first celebration! And yeah, with also the boys, like, as well as the Hero Academy. Basically, the bo- Be <laughs> anyway. So, Bloom decided I want to look for some good for dresses, but couldn't find any good ones. And yeah, it took some time, tried to wear them, and that good. So, yeah, she kind of buys and just improvised a bit. After trying to wear some dress that doesn't work and couldn't find any scissors and just immediately just burns the bed a bit did with horror flame effects. No joke. I know this was during Is it me or does the Yeah I think this was during this Yeah I think this was during the time when CGI wasn't that great. And I admit I kinda wish they used better CGI. I think the flame just doesn't work. Seriously, this looks like data effects. Wow, this looks like the data CGI I ever seen in my entire life if for the show. Anyways, decided one look for and realizing also. <clears throat> also, anyways, the tricks decided one not to go use that underground escape layer that I apparently developed, which is also like to go will escape. Yeah yeah, pretend he meant yeah, it would be a lot easier if they'd end the fight if they just if they just block the then take an exit for the enemy for the witches. That way you don't have to deal with future treads. I know you will clear out the other treads. Anyways, and <laughs> found a chest of filled with butter these eggs that it will open to butterflies. Lies. And but will turn into but they also turn into snakes. Anyway. Need to warn the others, but anyways, we get to the place and we get to pretty much the shows. <clears throat> we get to Bloom's love interest in the series. <laughs> and why I say Bloom's love interest, you may be asking? Yeah. Well. <clears throat> yeah, for those wondering, yeah, one of the boys was him, by the way. <clears throat> Sky. I don't know what Bloom and Sky have a lot in common. <clears throat> no, I meant literally. Oh, wait, they both are, are in the air. I feel like I just made a joke right there. And then, please, mm -mm, uh, yeah, they're going to be a love couple. Yeah, they're going to be a couple in the series. No joke. There are going to be a couple in the series. Yes. Anyways, realizing about these venomous venomous things. So they're worried about it. So they hold hands and just basically just change them back to normal. And yeah, one change back to egg flop. Give an eggs. And decided one of the deal with the Trixies with the rings and one on the magical stuff and the clown stuff and everything else. Yeah, just fill with that. Yeah, mm -mm. if you wonder what our tricks plans are earlier, yeah, this was actually explained in that during the when they were in the which is saying men where they actually but because they weren't invited and yeah, yep, so they decided wanted to go with a deviant plan and to deal with them. So, yeah, they decided to do this pretty much just change the exit and express while those directors sold the. 
Still the ring, dang it. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Anyways, back what I'm saying, I'm going to say... Anyways, I'm going to say... So, pretty much... So, yeah, when Stormy decided to... Anyways, back to the actual plot, um... When Stormy is about to basically get freeze, she immediately just transform, and... Yeah, but this is the first time transforming. And I admit her design, despite trying to go with a fire motif, I kinda wish she just more red, more red and whatnot. I know milk so, so, but I kinda wish she goes with a flame-like style and whatnot, but eh, the blue looks alright, but I admit she looks alright for the most part and yeah. After controlling her files for the first time using like, flame attacks, yeah, because of fire. But anyways. When she Yeah sort of freeze and the dazzling's kind of retreat there. And, well, we see our friends first time transforming, and he was deciding when to make the dress and whatnot, and, well, yeah, I meant that it looks like an already dress, but, looks alright. Though, the clamoring, and luckily, they just replaced it with something else. An egg. Turns out it was a baby... A popping duck. I forgot what his name was earlier, because I... Let's see. So we end, yeah, so it ends with, well, Blue Woman Sky just dancing. These are going to be one of the many moments where Blue, uh, Blue, and yes, a shipping just happened. Yep. And that's the episode ended. A shipping happened. And... And that should be it. It for the series. And this should be the first three episodes of the series. Three, so... Yeah! Personally, I think this is a really good episode. Really good beginner's episode. If you want to watch some... Another magical girl. If you want to watch something of the Italians attempt to make Sailor Moon... I recommend you want to watch basically make actually if you want to watch Italians try to make something like a mixture of Sailor Moon and Harry Potter. I recommend watching this series. It's a really good series. Then, well, I only just covered the first season. I recommend watching the first season. It's pretty good. So yeah. So let me get something real quick. I need to bring some. So hmm. That should be one of the list. One sec. Oh wait. Oh wait, there it is. Should be one less series to cover up. Anyways, next time we're going to check out. We're going to see another France series, but also made and also also with help with a little ja uh, with such a Japanese company, anime company, and well, also and see a ladybug and. And Black is helping to save the city and the world. Oh, okay, maybe I'll just cover one episode too. I don't know how many episodes I'm gonna cover. Maybe one episode, or maybe I'll go cover its origin story. Or maybe I'll just consider when we get back to the end of the review. So, bye.